I would like to welcome our other guests from Glo Global Indian Series, Rajan Nasran. Thank you. Ezat Pehrani for World Roma Congress. Welcome them, thank you. From Center for Roma Studies in India, Mohammed Zamir Ambar. Welcome. And from Roma Center, Roma Anti-Discrimination Anti Network, Kenan Emini for World Roma Congress. Thank you. This is the WIT Global Indian Series and Center for Roma Studies and Cultural Relation. World Roma Congress and the Indian Organization subscribe Memoranda of Understanding. Thank you very much, Kenan. And I really extend my sincere thanks to Kenan and his team for making this wonderful, comprehensive, enlightening, illuminating, refreshing Congress and for the last three days, we had very illuminating and refreshing discussions, deliberations, talk, speeches, presentations on a different aspects of Roma community, living in a different part of the world, especially in Europe, from Slovakia, Republic of Slovakia, to Czech Republic, to Hungary, to Romania, Kosovo crisis, and the different aspects, you know, the myriad aspects of Roma affairs and a Roma crisis was discussed in this Congress. And I am very much thankful to Kenan and uh, the World Roma Congress for the invitation to witness such a, you know, such an important and significant, as I can say, the indispensable, uh, you know, the contemplations and deliberations we had uh, from 15th, 16th, and 17th today. Actually, uh, uh, I represent the Center for Roma Studies and Cultural Relations. That center has been uh, set up by uh, the Assurance Committee of Indian Parliament and sponsored by the Indian Council for Cultural Relations as a, uh, you know, the part of Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. We had a round of discussions and a very deep discussions with the Grattan Paxson and the, we came to the conclusion that this memorandum of understanding, this partnership is going to prove corner stone and a stepping stone to deepen and consolidate the relations between Indians and Roma. Actually, this center, uh, the purpose and objective of this memorandum of understanding is most of the people uh, asked me with the curiosity and with the due respect, I replied and you know, answered to their questions that what India has done. And why uh, I, I think we had discussions about the different uh, layers of uh, you know, the discriminations, persecutions, and uh, prejudices and stereotypes attached with the Roma community across the world, wherever they have been living and residing. As Orhan Tahir said, hey, we are not a guest. We are not a foreigner in European countries. We have, been, we have, the more longer, we have a longer history than the Slavs and the other Hungarian group of people who, uh, who have been residing and living in Europe. So the Roma, India is important not only for Roma, you know, even the Roma is important for India. It is not like that, the we are, you are of Indian origin, so we are extending help. You people are important and you people are indispensable for India in spreading and fostering the archaic and old civilizations, traditions and culture of the world. You can be the ambassador, you can be, you can be the cultural ambassador. You can, you can promote the voice of India, the ancient wisdom of India, the, you know, the culture and traditions of India because you are living in a place where there is no technology, even a 21st century. So you are more instantaneous, you know, you are the more powerful tool to expand the India presence. 
you know the um, because india has a vision india has a, you know like the dream and india is in position now to become the cultural superpower india india has a potential to uh, you know means to resolve the cultural crisis across the world so here the roma can play the very pivotal role in uh, spreading and uh, you know the pervading the ancient wisdom which the whole world is looking to because everywhere you find the crisis as our friend uh, like uh, our friend here talked about the uh, the crisis situation you know the crisis situations and the very tumultuous and a turbulent situation of roma community in in europe or in in the world because the war is at the door you know war is a few kilometers away from berlin the between russia and ukraine so it is there quite obvious and the quite natural you know the thinking what happens because they see they have seen that what ha they have been treated the uh, the you know the roma from ukraine how they were treated you know the maltreated how they were discriminated uh, you know the, under the broad delight so there is a different policy by germany itself in germany you know because uh, they have the different treatment the different policies for the uh, uh, ukrainian refugee you know and the, the uh, uh, roma from ukraine the romani refugee from ukraine they have the different treatment in here in germany which is which is you know the, which claims to be the exponent and a proponent of fundamental rights and human rights but you can find there is a you know the blatant transgressions and a violations of fundamental rights against the roma community the people here we we have seen everywhere there uh, there the rights there the fundamental rights are trampled so in this critical situations india plays a very important role india can stand as a protector for you people because the gone are the days when india were you know the india indian were treated uh, like uh, uh, like the snake charmers you know uh, like the elephant riders so now the we are the most uh, we are we have we have been reigning supreme we have been playing the very important role in each and every sector whether it's the it we are ruling the silicon valley you find uh, the nadal and you know so the we are ruling the silicon valley there's a technology we are we are there we have a very great and a very strong presence in nasa that's a, we have we are the great entrepreneurs millionaires billionaires whether uh, uh, whether whether you know sunil mittal and tata and all so we we uh, we are a powerhouse culturally financially so that there the india can play and assume very important role and i think this mou will uh, you know the will uh, pave the way for deepening relationship and expanding our network with the, you know the expanding our uh, understanding uh, the horizon of understanding how we can you know mention contribute to the resolution of some critical problems faced by the roma community and the the discriminations problems all the other sort of social economic and political problems one of our friends said that the we have heard we have been we have not been hearing anything from india we have been only talking what the india role is how uh, uh, the some friend asked that the did you help any roma uh, family any community actually it is a very uh, you know the very it is trivia you know helping a one family and a two family and a two members it is not it is not our vision our vision is to take the entire community along so uh, we there is the development in india that the roma issue has been discussed and raised in the indian parliament you know the in the uh, house of people so uh, the the question was there uh, how india can going to respond to the roma issues and roma problems and this is the reason why there, our center is there we are uh, we are trying to expand our uh, we are trying to expand and we are trying to extend our help and aid in whatever forms could be so uh, the political uh, you know the political participations you can find that the roma are uh, not uh, Roma are uh, there is a very scant uh, part political participations of Roma community, even though they contribute the ten to twelve percent to the total population of the country, like Hungary, like uh, you know the oh, sorry, two minutes, all right.
uh, Kenner. Yes, I, I, I will like just to add because <coughs> we go just very deep. Yes, after 700 years, maybe thousand, then you come from some suggestion like this is for me. Wow, you know, like uh, the emperor of India uh, won't help us, but uh, that is not the reality. India never helped Roma after Tito. I think uh, uh, Indira Gandhi was the last one. And then she was assassinated, I think, yes. And then uh, we didn't have any relation may, uh, anymore with India. But what I try to explain here is that we, it's important India for us, uh, like uh, cultural, historical, so we can know something about history. So the main goal is was also with you, Saman, and um, to to have some agreement so we can maybe uh, make some research. Uh, I think uh, also my friend uh, Esad Behrami, he's also one uh, um, very creative uh, person who uh, study a little bit history and he makes some performance theater and stuff. And he's very visionary about India. So the goal is to, can we Roma after 700 years go to India to research a little bit about our you know, roots, something. That, that's, that was the idea. But from other hand, of course, we live in some difficult time. And uh, of course, we like to have some supporters like countries like India, but uh, to tell you the truth, this never happened for years. It was only symbolic, yes. Uh, and I know that India, even India, have our own problem, so many minorities. I mean, uh, even discrimination in India, it's about some, uh, some other minorities. And uh, yes, and for us, in interesting, just to make clear here for everybody, so that uh, we have some history about India. But we are European, so I don't know, we, we transform for 700 years, 1,000 years. We are uh, European people and we have other agenda. Uh, most of us very well integrated in the society, but we have other problems, that discrimination, racism. They don't let Roma people to involve, to, to transform, to be uh, better. Because what we learn in Europe is that, uh, that the European people must integrate how to live with uh, some group like, or one nation like Roma. Yes, because we always say Roma must integrate in the society. But how, how long? Because we are here for thousand years. So when, when, when are we gonna stop to integrate? You know, like we live for thousand years. So I think the point is how to learn somebody else to integrate, to have neighbor Roma or to marry one Roma or to be part uh, in, uh, in family with some Roma when he's a gajo. So we must do a lot. And maybe the history of, uh, um, you know, like uh, uh, India can uh, make uh, some, I don't know, sensibility in the Europe, you know, like to, to bring some history or, you know, some, some kind of way of thinking. Uh, I, I think uh, the, the, uh, the white European need the, the uh, authority, yes? Mohammed, I think you have also an answer for that, isn't it? Or do you have an input about yes, this? Yes, I saw you, you, you I, I, just I want to Mohammed. jump, but I, I really uh, uh, try to explain a little bit so one? we can understand yeah, uh, the, the topic. So, my name's Rajan, I'm from the Global Indian Series. Just as a admission, so you know, we do not represent India. We represent Indians, right the way across the globe. But there's more, before I go into that. We live in a world that is divided, that is true. We place a great reliance on the integrity of leaders to do what is right for us, which is true. And we have been failed time and time again by that leadership, regardless of what country it may be. When I went to the memorial across the road and you see the names that are there, you realize that these are not just arbitrary names. These are families and generations. And a conversation that takes place, people who can get inspired by absurdity will commit atrocities. And that is a symptom of a lack of belonging. What the Global Indian Series does is to say, you do not need India, despite my uh, honorable friend here. What we do need is each other. 
We need to have a sense of familiarity of what the true problems are. Not as ethnicities, not as colors or anything else that we happen to be born into, but the human journey of us as people. What we aim to do with the Global Indian Series is to have inspired conversations, to bring people together without fear or favor to say, what if? We have our ambassadors who enable us to do this from former heads of states through to members of royal families. And in fact, to extend that further, I'm very grateful to Grattan, who because of his hard work, persistence, persistence, and persistence, managed to make sure that we're all here. We're very proud to have an ambassador for Romani Affairs. What I aim to do is not to sabotage or to take ownership of your identity because a Romani identity is a Romani identity. No country on this planet should take above that. I think it is very ivory tower-like to come in here and say, well, you're brown, you're a person of Indian origin, you're one of us now. I, th I think we've gone further than that. We know the movements of people will always continue to change. If we call ourselves Indians today, who knows what happens in the next 2,000 years? Or who knows what happens to Britain? Hey, we may become English one day. But, but, hold your horses, hold your horses. But the aim of our MOU is to have an extension of friendship, to say together we shall ensure that the conversation of the Romani community is felt across the world. The communities that live in Fiji, through to the communities that live in South Africa, through to those in Trinidad and Tobago, have all shared a very disdained, similar history, unfortunately. Together, if we learn from each other, we can stand up together towards this. My aim is simple, to make sure that people like me or our future ambassador here, Virgil, who I shall invite because he is now going to be an ambassador for the Global Indian here, to make sure that we no longer have to exist. I think the times have gone from ego, despite sitting in a seat and having your attention for the next 20 minutes, that's a joke, um, but the time for ego has disappeared. The reality is this, if you remember anything in which I say, if you look at your thumb, the cell on your thumb, is the same as the cell in your kidney, but it doesn't see each other. As human beings on the back of this magnificent planet, we need each other. Now is not the time to argue for tribalism. Now is not the time to argue over religion. Now we are entering into the world of class warfare. There's those who have and those who not have. And your religion or your tribal affiliation will not make you immune from being an asshole. That is the reality of it. So in short, as human beings, as brethren, sitting here on this stadium together, you have my commitment from the Global Indian Series, from our 27 ambassadors around the world, that we shall uptake our civic duty to make sure that the conversation of the Romani community is not polluted by our identity warfare that we see persuading the globe to do stupid things, but we shall take up that opportunity to educate the planet on saying, here lies a human rights abuse, and here lies the opportunity to create a better civilization for all sentient beings. That is my Jerry Springer moment right there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nasran. Esat, your uh, input to this um, discussion, to this can I speak Deutsch? It will be easier to speak. Yeah, wait, wait. Okay. Um, yeah, we have been trying to think about it. Uh, just one second. He needs a uh, translation. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah. He will take it. Ah, yeah. Uh, Thank you, Esad. Yeah. Just a second. It's good. It goes on. We'll continue. Thank you. Okay, also ich fange mal einfach so mal an. Dadurch, dass wir, sagen wir es mal so, kennen ich und ein paar von uns hier, wir sind eine der letzten Generationen, was aus Kosovo kommt und diese ganze Systemeänderung erlebt hat. Also Pioniere, Kommunismus, Demokratie, Kriege. Dann sind wir hier in Deutschland gekommen, in der Hoffnung für ein besseres Leben. 
und natürlich unseren Kindern, dass es besser geht. Aber natürlich ist auch eine Sache passiert und wo wir alle darüber wissen, haben wir dann gedacht, dadurch, dass, also, haben wir dann gedacht, okay, dadurch, dass wir schon tausende Jahre immer wieder angesprochen werden, wir kommen aus Indien, wir kommen aus Syrien, wir kommen aus Türkei, wir kommen aus, keine Ahnung, aus anderen Planeten, also wir kommen aus anderen Universum und ich weiß es nicht was, wir haben schon alles Mögliche gehört, wo wir kommen, but die Sache und der Punkt ist die, okay, dadurch, dass wir jetzt die Freunde aus Indien haben und natürlich diesen Kongress aufgebaut haben, versuchen wir jetzt einen großen Researching zu machen, wo wir von ganzen Balkan, nicht nur Ex-Jugoslawien, sondern Rumänien, Bulgarien, Ungarn und komplettes Ex-Jugoslawien, alle Roma, was da sind, einen Research, wer kommt von wo und richtige Fakten zu finden, wo es irgendwann diese Geschichten aufhören sollen. Weil ich denke und ich bin nicht allein, dass wir irgendwo einen Anfang haben und diesen Anfang möchten wir finden. Also ich will und ich möchte, so wie viele von uns, dass wir unsere Wurzel finden. Dass wir nur einfach sagen, ich bin das und nichts anderes. Ich bin ein Mensch und ich komme von diesem Planeten. Und diesen Research planen wir schon mehrere Jahre und ich hoffe, dass wir dafür eine große Unterstützung bekommen. Und natürlich mit unseren Freunden werden wir versuchen, also den Weg zu bringen, Richtigen zu sagen, zum Beispiel, du kommst aus Serbien, es gibt auch verschiedene Religionen bei uns und es gibt verschiedene Aussagen bei uns und würden wir lieben gerne das eines Tages brechen. Also brechen heißt wissen. Wir möchten ganz einfach nur wissen, von wo wir kommen. Es ist ganz einfach. Wissen ist Stärke. Das Danke. stimmt. Ja. Herzlichen Dank. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming here to Berlin for this World Roma Congress. This would this is the first one and um, it will go, I think, for years and years. Yeah. Thank you. We will have now dinner. Um, ah. Ah, yeah, bitte. Okay, bevor wir äh, essen gehen, also wir müssen auch die letzte äh, Ritual zu Ende bringen. Also die Idee ist, dass wir auch eine Memorandum unterschreiben mit der äh, zwei Partei äh, und Zusammenarbeit, dass man, wie die erwähnt haben, es geht auch um die Recherche auch vom, aus Indien nach Europa, über Roma Geschichte, aber auch äh, Roma selber in Indien äh, Research zu, zu machen, aber auch von anderer Seite, dass wir uns auch unterstützen. Also ich musste erst mal so erwähnen, dass wir quasi mehrere Jahre, also in, äh, oder wir wissen, dass wir mit Indien einen guten Kontakt haben, aber es geht darum, dass man auch ehrlich sagt, es gab es bis jetzt keine richtige Unterstützung und so, weil man muss auch wissen, wir hatten auch Krieg in Kosovo 1999, da konnte sich auch Indien damals auch stellen und sagen, hey, was passiert, 150.000 Roma sind vertrieben und so, ich meine von dieser politischen Seite, aber es ist nie, äh, nie zu spät, deswegen wollen wir auch anfangen, weil wenn wir ein, ein Land haben, so wie Indien, dass die auch äh, dieses Support und diese Solidarität für äh, die Community, also für europäische äh, äh, Roma-Nation quasi, weil äh, es ist auch so, dass wir nicht mehr äh, so wie 12, 15 Millionen sind, also was äh, man so seit 30 Jahren erzählt hat, wir reden hier vielleicht über 20, 30 oder 50 Millionen Roma, die in Euro Europa leben. Ja, und deswegen, äh, ja, wir werden uns freuen, also es geht auch darum, dass wir das diese Memorandum jetzt unterschreiben und dass ihr auch die Zeuge seid, dass wir mit dem äh, unsere Partner was gemeinsam machen wollen. Aber ihr habt bestimmt noch was zu sagen. Ne?
As Kenan said, and as Rajan also said, that the, we are not the representative of, in, representative of India, but the representative of Indians. So the main purpose here for this memorandum of understanding is to, uh, to collaborate on carrying out research on uh, different aspects of Roma community, like the cultural, uh, cultural similarities, the historical and uh, migration, migratory routes, and the, you know, the social and anthropological studies. So we can collaborate uh, together to carry out or to facilitate such kind of research, and our center can uh, extend help, and some, uh, if the World Roma Congress or the and other the partners, they want to send any representative to carry out a research on a different aspects of uh, uh, Roma communities, like in, in, in course of language, the Romani language, or you know, the, uh, the cultural similarities. So we are there to help, that's the first. And a second, the most important is we can encourage the uh, exchange of scholars, exchange of writers. Uh, we can uh, exchange the scholars. The scholars of Roma community can visit India, and they can have uh, you know, means the exposure. They want to uh, research, or they want to have, hold some discussion discussions and deliberations on a certain aspects, we are there to help. And the third is that, uh, like, um, <clears throat> We, we try to expand the people-to-people -people engagement, you know. There's an academic engagement, a scholarly engagement, the cultural engagement. So here the, our center, the Center for Roma Studies and Cultural Relations, can uh, play and assume the ver leading role uh, to, uh, you know, the provide such kind of facilities that the, how we can, uh, um, you know, that we can uh, initiate the people-to-people -people engagement, how they can come, because as the, some, some, something started, you know, the, taking place because whatever in the past happened, the mistake of past can never be corrected by mistake in present. And whatever happened, I agree and I humbly, you know, I am humbled by their, uh, you know, the polite gestures. So uh, whatever, uh, you know, there was a hiatus of the 20 and 30 years, but right now there's, there's something may happen and as we believe and we are, you know, the very positive and uh, optimist. So, and the th third is like the, we can also organize the conference and the cultural festivals jointly and, uh, or individually, it depends, uh, uh, it depends on uh, the organizations. So whether uh, they want to organize or host any kind of conference or cultural festivals, we can join, uh, you know, we can collaborate, we can join, uh, we can join together and we can make it happen. So uh, these are the some important things like the, we can also have uh, some collaboration, we can have a collaborations on uh, like the business and entrepreneurships because there we have uh, our wing that is the, uh, the, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, people of Indian origin, through that we can, uh, we can, uh, uh, we can create the conducive environment so that that we can, uh, 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 the Roma SMEs, like they are the craftsmen and artisans from Bulgaria and uh, Hungary, they are the good, uh, they are expert craftsmen and the musicians. So uh, there, there is a possibility where we can, uh, uh, you know, that we can create the environment, the conducive environment where uh, the Roma arts can be uh, sold and, the, uh, you know, the, or produced or purchased or bought. So in that, uh, through the Chamber of Commerce, the people of Indian origin, we can help. We can have some small exporting and importing, whatever, you know, so if it is possible, they want to do. Even though that's very difficult because still the people, uh, the Roma people in Europe, uh, the, around 60%, they don't have a bank account. However, that's the organizations, as organizations, we can, uh, we can uh, do some kind of uh, business. And here we can also help. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, thank so you, Mohammed. So and thank you very I much. I think this and is now. the sign also to make a signature there on this memorandum. If, if I may, I'd like to invite Virgil over. Um, he'll be our ambassador for Romani Affairs. So he'll be dealing with anything to do with the Romani community. He's also going to be accompanied by all of our support systems in the UK, including members from the House of Lords. So if I may take your permission, can I invite him up so he can countersign on behalf of, of the Global Indian yes, Series please. as well? Please come. If you ever need proof, <laughs> if, if you ever need proof that the Romani and the Indian community are similar, just have a look at how long we talk whilst we're on the microphone. I think there you have clear evidence that we are the same people. Um, let me pass the microphone over. Uh, 
Uh, we'll keep a copy for everybody to see this. But I hereby sign as the Global Indian Series founder, accompanied by my ambassador for Romani Affairs, Virgil, this memorandum of understanding. I'm not going to go into detail because you can have a read of it yourself. I shall leave you to that. I shall sign and then Kenan will sign as well from that side. It will be countersigned by my left honourable gentleman. What I would request is because he is our ambassador for Romani Affairs, if there are any questions or anything that you'd like us to look into, please do utilise them because that is his job to do that. I would also request if he can do a, just a quick 30 second um, note so that we can introduce himself and tell you more about what his role is. I shall commence the signing ceremony. In my neatest handwriting. Trommelwirbel. <laughs> what a moment. <laughs> Thank you, O. Well, we yeah. But one more signature here. With Mohammed. You was witness here with this big deal with India.